Hi everybody and welcome to the Waste Weight Loss Diaries. This is Denise. And I'm your Saturday blogger, really. I keep wanting to say that because it's an old habit from when we did the diaries before. I think I have my camera figured out, finally. We'll see. Um, I was using my camera, my phone on my camera on the phone, and it wasn't a good quality. It was really dark and um, I just and wiggly. So anyway. Um, it's funny because I'm I'm reading on a new website that I just found. My stepmom turned me on to it. It is called thepaleomom.com. I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, but I've been researching the paleo diet a little bit more because it's it's very of the earth and I like that. Um, some of the things that I, that clean eating allows are, are a lot of grains and, and a little bit of dairy. Not much dairy, but, but definitely grains and beans and legumes and things like that, which I'm not entirely sure is such a bad thing, but I'm just researching the hows and whys of, of how food affects us. Still, this is an ongoing research that I've been doing for years. Um, but as we find out more, you have to keep up. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to know what's the latest and greatest and what we've discovered, basically. Um, not fad diets. I'm not talking about fad diets. I'm talking about real eating. I am very close to uh, having Liam off of breast milk and onto solid foods. And so far, he's been eating a very clean diet. And I want to keep him doing that. But in order to do that, what's on my plate? needs to be very clean because he eats off my plate all the time. Kids do that. So um, it's time to really nip this in the bud because I don't want him having the sugar addiction problems that I have. And I'm looking at this website with the with paleomom.com and there's a section on beating sugar addiction. And she talks about how it is addictive. And um, it has to do with, it says insulin and, and hormones, the hormone leptin in particular, and it alters your metabolism. And I know this, you can feel it. For, for me, it's a, I'm addicted. There are some people that can have a little bit of sugar and they just don't go crazy with it, but I can't do that. It's very much, and I've said this a million times, it's very much like a drug. And I just have to get the sugar out of my diet. And then I'm sitting here going, okay, just cold turkey it, just do it just get rid of it and I tried that last week and I got a huge raging headache for a day and a half almost two days that's not the way to go with a toddler um, starting a new job soon and all this stuff so <laughs> that's not gonna work so um, she suggests actually a gradual a gradual decrease over a month and that's what I'm doing that's what I I've, I've been working on for the last about week and a half I guess trying to get the sugar out of my diet and I've decided that um, I still have sugar in my coffee and it's not organic but it will be next week <laughs> because I'll have money to go grocery shop grocery shopping again most of the food in my house is organic but there's a fair amount that isn't and there's a fair amount of sugar in my cupboards my stepdaughter and my husband are very much sugar addicts as well Maybe not as to the degree that I am, except for maybe Kim, the 13-year-old, and I'm really worried about that. So we really limit how much sugar that she uh, eats or drinks. But she's so used to it that that's, um, that's kind of what she does when she goes on her visits with her mom. Her mom you know, gives her sugar when she goes on her visits with her counselor. They have sugar there. I mean, whether it's pure sugar or whether it's like animal crackers that you know have sugar in them or whatever she's exposed to it a lot more and there's not a lot of control I have over that I won't even have a lot of control over Liam once he's old enough to make decisions for himself in a vending machine at school and that kind of thing don't get me started on the diets at the school oh my god now that I have a kid <laughs> it's very 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 much a concern for me um, I could go I will have lots of topics to talk about I'm I'm big in the food industry right now I'm big anti GMO I'm big on clean eating paleo style eating I'm, I've got a lot to say about it. So um, if you're interested to hear it, then you can <laughs> check in once in a while. And I'll also po post about my weight and how I'm doing with, with that. I really, really, really have a goal of dropping at least 40 pounds by December because, or the end of December, because we're doing um, Christmas pictures. Um, we're having a professional photographer do them and I really want to get the puffiness out of my face and get some uh, weight off so that the pictures turn out decent. I had some pictures done recently and I just feel like I look. I'm puffy and I just, it. you look at that picture and you think that person is really suffering and that's how I feel. And I don't want to, I don't want the pictures to turn out that way. They're going to have, whoa, dude, he almost, he almost dropped my water. <laughs> Dumped it over. Hi babies, you want to come up? Okay, this is Liam. 
there's the camera right there. Look at that, right there. You see that? Not really. <laughs> so anyway, I'm very much concerned about him and how my eating habits are gonna affect him because my mother's eating habits are what affected me, really. So I really wanna nip this in the bud and get it under control because it's important. I mean, it's what I pass on to him is what he's gonna have for the rest of his life and I don't want him to suffer the way that I have. So, um, yeah, it's a really crunch time now. Huh. It really matters. So, to report my... Hi. Mm, kisses. <laughs> so, to report my weight loss last week, I lost 2.6 pounds, reducing some of the sugar in my diet and kind of watching portions more. Um, and eating more uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. As you take the sugar out, it's really a good idea to replace it with some fruit and vegetables, especially... Honestly, the fruit takes the sugar plate, takes the place of the sugar a little bit, but at least it's a it's a whole natural sugar. Hi. Mm. <laughs> and um, although the paleo diet really limits fruits, and I don't know if I like that because I think there's a lot of health properties to fruits. I know they're high in sugar, but they are a natural sugar. So I did really well when I did clean eating before with not having sugar cravings, and I had a lot of fruit in my diet. A lot of fruit and vegetables so I'm not sure that I'm on board with that so we'll have to see hi do you want my attention oh my goodness what a love bug <laughs> so um, I have to go to work in a few minutes so I'm gonna stop now and try to get this uploaded before I leave for work and so check in next week and see how much of the sugar that I was able to get out of my diet and how I did the weight loss that I experience is very much related to the sugar <laughs> for me Sugar's evil, I'm telling you. It's awful. Alright, so until next week, we'll see you later. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> bye.